Sometimes people be tripping on them bath salts, too. Yeah! yeah. What's happening guys? Welcome back to Tell Your Story. My name is Nason and tonight we're talking about something we talked about before, meth-induced psychosis, but with common items that you find around the house. Trigger warning to anyone that's watching this video. If you are using or have used methamphetamines in the past, we will be talking about common items that are used in the production of this drug. So I don't know if you know someone that uses meth or maybe someone that abuses these drugs. I went on a big search. Like I went into all the cabinets in the house. I did a little research on like what is out there and what people are using. I don't know if you've ever heard of the term shake and bake, but this is like a common way people make meth with common household items. If you know someone that's abusing meth, then maybe it's time that you be aware of some of the things in your house that are used in order to like make this product so let's get started and I'll show you some of the things that I found it's it's kind of weird believe it or not one of the most common tools and we did talk about this in a previous video about meth induced psychosis I'll put a link up here to that one watch that one if you get a chance we have a common item that sits in our pantry every day and it's Reynolds wrap this stuff is used to literally smoke meth that is that's disgusting another common ingredient that you find in your pantry Straight rock salt. This stuff is a common ingredient in meth. If you've got a bunch of salt sitting around and you know somebody that's using, I don't know, maybe you need to hide this stuff. It's kind of gross. Another common ingredient would be like cold medicine. I'm not going to turn this around to show you the medicine that it is, but in this particular case, cold medicine can be used to be crushed and turned into meth as well. <sighs> I thought I just had a cold. Here's another one. Rubbing alcohol. Did you know that like rubbing alcohol is used in creating meth? My girlfriend uses that to get the paint off of her nails and you're using it to get high. That's gross. Another common ingredient is camp stove, like fuel. We have that in our apartment. I couldn't find it. That's, we go camping. I'm not interested in making drugs with camp stove fuel. I'd rather make eggs, you know. Here's another common one that we didn't actually have. Drain cleaner. Yeah, there's, there's drain cleaner in meth. So like, you know, the stuff that you use to clog all the hair out and like food that was left behind, all that bacteria that's in your drain. Well, people are like putting that in their body, I guess, to clean out their system. No, no. Last one I got for you. Oh yeah, they're gonna be stealing the batteries out of your computer. Little baby Yoda has no way to live anymore. Lithium, lithium ion batteries. You trying to, you trying to recharge? No. The whole point of this video is to get across to you that meth is everywhere. It's not something that you can just like shy away from. Some people just find a way to create bad things. And meth is no joke. If you know someone that is using, or if you assume that you are one of those people, seek help immediately. Methamphetamine is not something you want to joke about. You know, with all these like really terrible ingredients, kind of makes you wonder like what are you feeding your children when they have ADD I and mean, the only difference between meth and methamphetamine or Adderall one's made in a pharmacy on a super serious note if you are suffering from addiction to like methamphetamine or just meth in particular find some help find a group that you know you can surround yourself with people that are just like you and you know open a chain of dialogue open up that voice talk to somebody and get the help that you need good lord Anyway, that's all I got for tonight. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.